Both of those guys literally sold out. It's a vile show. It's a disgusting show. The show has completely fallen apart. It's scripted, you idiot. So we have the evidence. Boogie got forced to have a face tattoo. I was right all along. <laughs> I have absolutely no association whatsoever with Keemstar or anything he's involved in, all right? Last year, there was talk that I would do a podcast with Boogie and Wings, but it would be our podcast, meaning the three of us would do a podcast together. And then both of those guys literally sold out and signed up with Keemstar to do a drama podcast called The Lol Cow Show or The Lol Cow Cast or whatever it is, where essentially the purpose of the show is they get bullied all day. A bunch of people who call farmers go on there and make fun of them constantly, and they just stand there and take it and get paid money to do it. It's a vile show. It's a disgusting show. It's exactly what I thought it was. It's complete and utter fabricated drama. All right? It's mostly fabricated. Like, almost everything on that show is scripted, 100%, done ahead of time. They already know what they're going to say and do. They already they do these fake sides. Oh, I'm going to quit the show. No, I'm going to quit the show. Oh, he quit. Oh, he's back. Oh, he quit. Oh, he's back. It's 100% fabricated. It's just as fake as shitty reality TV. But the people who watch the show are mental morons. They think it's legit. They're just complete moronic idiots to think that anything there would be real. Okay? Um, but the truth is, I never want to be involved in that kind of drama content anyway. Right? Ever. That's why I said I'm not involved with this show. You know, Keemstar couldn't even legitimately contact me and offer me a real spot on the show. He demanded on Twitter that I accept a 50K offer to be on the show before he even spoke with me. Like, he's making demands. Over the last two years, he's tried to harass me by saying he was going to contact my friends and family and do a negative Netflix documentary about me. This guy's nuts, okay? He's a fucking asshole. He's a piece of garbage. I want nothing to do with this man. All right, I've made this abundantly clear over the last two years. I want nothing to do with Keemstar whatsoever. All right, at all. You guys keep coming on my streams and bringing it up. And I keep telling you, guys, every time that you bring this shit up, you are literally feeding into the hands of these drama bitches. You understand that? Because that's all they are. They're bitches. They make up shit so that gullible, dumb people will talk about it, watch it, and give them money for it. Okay. If you watch the show, if you talk about the show, if you care about the show, you fell for the trap, you're a gullible idiot, and all they care about is milking you for money and views. That's it. They don't want to make legit content. If they did, they'd make a legit show. They haven't done that at all. They don't care about that. They just care about the money. All right? So I don't know why anyone would care about this show in my audience. If you have a brain between these two ears in your head, you should never watch it. You should never discuss it. You should never give it a moment of your time. All right? The only reason I'm bringing it up is because for some weird reason, people have been contacting me in the last, like, four days, and they're all saying almost exactly the same thing. Here's what they're saying. Phil, you were completely right about the show all along. The events over there have become incredibly heinous. The show has completely fallen apart. It's awful. And what was the other thing? Um, there was one other thing too. So basically, the weird part about it is people keep writing me and saying this. Like, oh, oh yeah, that's what it is. They're saying th they actually admitted on the show publicly that you were right all along about everything. Okay? So here's the thing. I don't watch the show. I'm never going to because I'm not a moron. Anyone who watches it is a moron. That's my opinion. You can disagree with me. I think anyone who watches that show is actually like a, a complete idiot. Okay? There's no one who would watch the show who has intelligence because you know it's fake. The entire show is fake. Can I repeat that? Ladies and gentlemen, the entire Lol Cow podcast, Lol Cow Live, whatever it's called, is fake. It's scripted, you idiots. How could you fall for it and think any of that is real? You'd have to be a dunce. So congrats to how any member of viewers they're getting every time that they stream it. It's a fake show, you idiots. How are you that stupid? I mean, if anything, it just shows there's an incredible group of moronic people on this planet who will fall for anything because they're so stupid, right? Now, what I would like to know is why all of a sudden in the last week, 
people are bringing this up with me. Like, what, what, what actually is going on? Because I feel like at some point I do need to be in the know just in case it does have some negative effect on me. What, what is going on over there that people are bringing me up? I have nothing to do with the show and never will. I'm not stupid. I'm not a moron. Okay. <laughs> You're right. So that I just want to know why, why am I in, in being discussed? What actually has happened over there? Can someone clarify for me what is going on that my name is in other people's mouths now and are bringing me up again? Because by the way, this year has been a great year. If you haven't noticed, no drama. I've literally stayed out of all drama. All the drama is fabricated and outside of my streams and content. Any drama, I'm not getting pulled into it. I've stayed out of it on purpose, right? I have no involvement with it whatsoever. I don't want to be involved in it. But I feel like every once in a while, I have to ask what involvement I have. Like, why are people contacting me saying I was right all along, you know, and they admitted that you're right? What are you talking about? Right? I don't think you're being discussed. I think someone just said that you won't you won't over them because your stability and ignoring drama. Eh? They're bringing it up this past week because Boogie had a horrible freak out on the show. People seeing Boogie break down and people remember what you said about the show being bad. Is that it? Okay. Boogie got forced to have a face tattoo. That doesn't even make sense. No one can force you to have a face tattoo. If Boogie got a face tattoo, that was his active choice to do something for the show as a stunt so more morons would watch it. You understand? There's no... He got forced to do something. That's scripted. How do you not understand that? <laughs> wow. So is that literally it? See, I just like, what what does it have to do with me? Why am I why is my name even being brought up? Don't. I want nothing to do with any of these losers. You understand? I don't. I want nothing to do with people who are exploitative. Because that's really the truth. The entirety of that group are exploiters. They exploit themselves, they exploit others. They're just exploiting in order to get shock value content for really dumb people who don't understand they're being exploited themselves to just keep perpetuating dumb content, right? It's kind of like what the side scrollers did with my haters last year. They literally kept bringing me up in a negative way so that they would keep getting money from my haters because th my haters are morons. So the more that they brought me up in a negative way, my haters would pay them more. And then eventually it dried up. So they just, they said, fuck it. Why are we going to bother with that? Right. But my haters were too dumb to realize how stupid they were. So they kept giving that group money for literally nothing. Do you really think they care about me? No, they don't. They don't care about me at all, but they would only bring me up when they knew it was time to milk the morons again. How are people so dumb? So dumb that they don't understand when they're being exploited. You need someone to like come and slap you in the face or maybe kick you in the balls to know that you're dumb and you're being exploited. Like, how stupid can you be? The moment you watch that kind of content, you've already fell for the trap and you've given them exactly what they want. Exactly the thing that they want. You and your stupid attention. You're giving them money. You're giving them popularity, right? For what? For trash. For the lowest common denominator of content. Content that could only be possibly classified as harmful to the world. I'm going to repeat that. That kind of content is harmful to the world, to human society as a whole, right? Remember when they did the Anna Nicole Smith show back on TV and everyone said, Oh, that's not harmful. That content's fine because she's in on the joke. I mean, yeah, she's a train wreck. Her career fell apart. You could tell that she's high and drunk half the time on the show. But who cares? It's fine. She's dead now. She's dead. Because people around her turned her into a living joke. And everyone said, oh, that's fine. That's good content. She died because of those people. Do you understand? So what's it going to take? One of the people on the show has to die, and then you'll realize that it's junk content, that you shouldn't be watching it. Is that what it takes? Are you that fucking dumb that you don't understand that human exploitation is bad? This is common sense, common morality stuff. This is not 
big brain thinking shit. This is like if you have a, a base of human understanding in your head, a tiny little nugget of intelligence, you would know that that is bad stuff that should not get attention, right? You should be doing everything in your power to stop people from watching that. What is wrong with you? If you don't know who that is, go look it up. Anna Nicole Smith, go look her up and see her horrible life story of how she her, she degraded from being a, an actress into a, a train wreck person, drugs, alcohol, mistreated by everyone around her. And then they publicized it and made a reality TV show around it. So we have the evidence of how heinous this stuff is. So let's do a whole show based on it on YouTube and let's give them thousands of viewers every show. Wow, you guys are real fucking smart, huh? Genius level. Uh. Anyway, that's my say on it. I'm not never involving myself in any of that shit whatsoever. So go ahead. Say, you know, they put my name in their mouths. Understand something. It's not me doing it. I was correct 100% on that content. I was 100% correct. All right? I know what I'm talking about. You stay away. Right? You stay away from that content. You don't engage it. You don't talk about it. You don't support it. You don't mention it. And eventually, when the crap hits the fan, all right, all you're going to hear is excuses from everyone involved. Oh, we didn't know. Oh, it wasn't serious. Oh, it wasn't meant to take you. Yeah. Whatever you say, the writing's on the wall, right? We have the track record. We see what happens with this kind of content and shit. We already know where it's going. So if you want to be part of that, you want to go to hell, I have better things to do with my life. Fair enough? I'm done. I've said my piece on that garbage. Okay.